So about five or six days ago, I made a video in which I spoke about both Esperanto and Tokipona. And in that video, I stated that I now had an interest in learning Tokipona, specifically because I found some really cool stuff that was made for Tokipona. And that made me explore the community a little bit more, which in turn made me realize that the community was quite sizable now, and therefore I had more of an interest in it because I need to give you guys a little bit of context about my brain and how it operates. So I love really random communities, like small communities or random communities, but I don't like them being too small. See, that was a problem when I first discovered Tokipona many, many years ago. So I think like six plus years ago. When I first discovered it, I learned a tiny bit, but the community quite then, well, the community at that time was quite small and it was a bit too small for my liking so I didn't really stick around to see like what it would grow into or for it, if it even continued to grow or whatnot because I'm the type of person who likes to engage in a community and also partake in a culture. Now, I like to get into things when they're early and innovative, but not too early. I don't know if that's a good way of explaining it, but anyway, recently when I took a look at Tokipona, it's now got lots of videos, there's music, there's lots of text, there's published books, there's a lot more stuff for me to actually engage in and to put my claws into and kind of like nibble away at. And I don't know why I'm making Velociraptor hands right now, but that's basically how my brain operates. Anyway, I made that video and unbeknownst to me at the time, lots of Tokipona speakers started leaving comments on it. I don't know if that's because secretly hiding in my comment section is just a bunch of Tokipona speakers just waiting for their moment to pounce, or if someone just shared it with the Tokipono community at large and then that brought some more interest over to my channel. Anyway, I do want to say that that was very good that you guys all did that because that drove my interest in turn. In fact, if you have a look at the, the video, you can see there is a ton of comments either in Tokipona or in English or even in Esperanto about Tokipona and basically saying, you know, they're really happy and excited to see that I've come to uh, come learn this language and at the time for me Tokipona was one of my many languages that I was learning or planning to learn and it didn't take up too much of my brain space but seeing all these like awesome comments specifically from like people's videos like this guy right here Jan Telekoman whose videos I was starting to watch made me like way more engaged in like this whole idea of learning this language. So you guys are very smart about that. If anyone shows any interest, just like, I don't know, like huddle on top of them and then they will be like, I am converted. It's like a zombie like thing where you'll run on top of them. The next thing you know, there's a new Tokipon of zombies like ah! coming out. I don't know where that's leading. I'm sorry guys. But anyway, it's been like six or so days since I declared my intention to learn this language. And at the time I had a very, very, very small understanding of some Tokipona primarily via my ability to speak Esperanto because Esperanto has had an influence on Tokipona. But you're probably more curious to know where I'm at actually Tokipona wise. So I figured in this video, I would speak a little bit of Tokipona uh, about my history with the language. Now, I do want to forewarn you, I am not fluent. I've probably done a cumulative four hours of study of Tokipona in the last six days or so, which doesn't sound like much, but it's actually quite a bit when you're working full time studying multiple languages and you have a part time job. So I have dedicated some of my brain time to learning this language and I'm now going to attempt to go into the recesses of my brain and pull out the necessary words to tell you uh, a really cut down summary of what I literally just said in English. So. Before we get started, I probably need a drink. Okay, let's do this. Toki nimimi li Richard anu evil dia. Mi wille toki et toki pona, mi wille toki tawa sina. Tempo pini weka la, mi kute et toki pona. Tempo ni la, mi yo e yan pona, yan pona, en mi li toki. Mi mute, toki e io mute, yan pona mi, li toki e ni, evil dia. 
mi wille eni sina kama sona et toki pona mi toki insa eni hm, toki pona toki pona li seme mi toki e yan pona mi toki pona li seme yan toki e uh, yan pona mi li li toki eni ah toki pona li toki li toki lili li toki wawa li toki suli mi wile eni ni kama sona e toki pona taso tempo ni la mi yo ala e tempo mute mi toki e ni tawa yan pona yan pona mi li pilin anpa mm. li pilin anpa mm. taso suno luka pinila mi wile lukin e sitelen tawa mute mi lukin e sitelen tawa ni mi lukin e sitelen tawa ni mi lukin e sitelen tawa musi pi toki mi lukin e sitelen tawa hmm ya ni li toki e toki li toki e toki mute li toki e toki pona huh. mi open toki insa e ni ah toki pona hmm. yan pona mi li wile e ni mi kamasone e toki pona huh. mi mi alasa e toki pona kepeken uh, ilo mi Ah, toki pona ho. Oh, toki pona li suli. Toki pona yo yan mute. Kulupu toki pona li suli. Ho. Oh, toki toki pona li yo e sitelen tawa. Li yo e yan mute. Hmm. Tempo ni la. Mi wille toki et uh, mi wille sona kama et toki pona. Okay, guys. I hope that wasn't too difficult for you to understand and I hope that I didn't utterly destroy the language. But that was my first attempt at speaking Tokipona beyond just like some basic phrases to myself. Like I've basically been practicing a little bit by just like yelling at my cat. My cat, I feel sorry for my cats because they, they hear me yelling at them in English, Esperanto, Chinese, German, now Tokipona. They must be the most confused animals in the world. But anyway, that's where I'm at. I wanted to show you also a little bit what I've done with my Anki decks. So if you take a look at my screen right here, I've got two little Anki decks I've got here. So I've got this first one where I basically got, is that the right deck? Let me check. Yeah, so this one is just like a, a whole heap of closed cards where I just do the fill in and if you have a look at what I've actually sentence mind here I have sentence mind the bejesus out of um oh god oh god I forgot his name what's his name Jan Telekoman I've been watching this guy's video this is literally how I've only been learning Tokipon I've just been watching his videos and reading your comments so I've been sentence mining him so I'm probably going to sound very like him when I get to like a, a, a reasonable level. Anyway, and then I've also got over here this other deck, which is basically just um, random words in... Oh, there you go. <laughs> I even put his name into the deck and I totally forgot his name. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is where I've got like small little phrases that are audio, just so I can listen to them over and over again, because specifically with this word la, I don't know why, but my brain doesn't wrap its head around easily around it but when I stack it together with like all these time ones I see what it does here like I know in sentences it means if blah 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 when blah 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 but it can also mean you know at this time or at this place then blah blah, blah. and I, I seen the dictionary reference for it so if you look at like la on here where is it 
uh, right here. They're like a particle between context, phrase, and main sentence. See, to give you guys a little bit of information about myself, I don't really know much about grammar. Like, I literally learned everything I know about grammar by learning Esperanto. And everything else I've learned about languages, I kind of just learned in context. So when I see something like this, context phrase and main sentence, I got a basic idea, but it doesn't mean anything to me until I start seeing like a whole heap of examples. And then I'm like, oh, now I get it. But that is where I am at Tokipona wise. Now, to let you guys know what the plan is long term. So I make an Esperanto video every Sunday and I'm thinking every Thursday I'm going to make a video either in English about Tokipona or in Tokipona about something. Now the goal is that eventually I will get to vlogging like I do in Esperanto and telling funny stories in Esperanto in Tokipona, but obviously that's gonna take a while because my Tokipona at this stage is shocking. Um, that in fact is my goal with many of my languages. My goal is to eventually also get to that stage with Chinese. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much the plan. If you guys like this video, I hope you've liked it. That was like the worst way to stop a video, whatever, bye.